the reading rush and we're not starting very strong. I'll do my best, but when I got coffee today, I took this guy and I read the first chapter? Would you call it a chapter? I don't know. Um, next time Ezra has a nap, I will read something else, but this is what I get to deal with instead of doing a lot of reading this week because sometimes houses suck. So, I'm thrilled. My house is a disaster. It was perfectly clean and wonderful. But I'm making myself something to eat right now. Something to munch on, put me in a better mood. And then Ezra and I are gonna hang out. I don't know. Maybe I'll look and see. I'm sure I'll be able to find the secret garden for a free audiobook or like a um a free like podcast download. So maybe I'll do that and then I can start listening to a book. But I should also put that down and grab them because I put all the books up here so I would remember them. And then we'll see. We'll see. But that's my update for now is my house is falling apart. My child is not sleeping. Clearly, I am not reading. Also, I need to hurry up and finish my, <laughs> uh, my, what do you call it, TBR for this. I meant to post it like a week and a half ago and I just didn't, so hopefully I post it today. Ezra agrees. I'm gonna go eat some food and pass the time until your next nap, hey? Yes. I'll check in with you later. Progress update. I finished editing the video and uploading it and found a podcast recording of The Secret Garden, which was hard. The very first one I found, I liked the voice, but um, then she started reading the book and she read it as The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgkinson Burnett, so that did not give me high hopes for the quality of uh, the rest of the reading. Unfortunate. So, I will start listening to that soon, I guess, while I fold laundry, because I have a lot of laundry to fold. And, um, little monster man over here, do you like that book? Do you know that you should not have that? I finished subtitling my video and then I almost screwed up and lost it all, but patience and a calm, clear head fixed it. No, lies, I freaked out and then realized that I still had all the text copied, so praise all things that we're watching out for that. How is the reading rush going? I am, um, one chapter, again, still don't know what you would call this, into, I don't know how many pages this is, it doesn't tell me, one chapter into, is it wrong to try to pick up girls in the dungeon, I'm on chapter three of The Secret Garden, and I am halfway through chapter one of In an Absent Dream. Clearly, my focus is, I don't know. So I think I'm going to go sort some fabric squares and continue listening to this guy. But I'm also considering just going outside and sitting in the sun. And if I do that, it would make sense for me to do this. But I also kind of maybe want to read this. Oh, I just hit myself in the face. It's such a bad day. I'm going to sort fabric squares. I'm going to wait until Richard gets home and then give him the child. Ezra's napping right now, so I have quiet and peace. Let's go set up to sort some squares and listen to an audiobook of this one. I do need to say uh, that I forgot how incredibly unlikable Mary is as a 
character. Did I realize that she was so horrible? I don't even know. But I definitely did not remember that, so. just finished in an absent dream which is good I, I finished one book today which I didn't think I'd do but I cannot decide how I feel about it sorry I'm hungry gotta eat something before bed I think I give it I think I give it three and a half stars on Goodreads, I marked it as four because three doesn't seem correct, but also neither does four. The first chapter I had a hard time getting into. It was just, it felt kind of clunky. And then I really enjoyed most of it. I did not like the ending, but at the same time, it was the ending that the book deserved, if that makes sense. I would have liked something different to happen, but it wouldn't have fit the story. And in terms of the story, I sorely missed the exciting things. They were just talked about in passing, and like everything else was just kind of almost day to day things in general summary form. So it was beautifully written and I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it nearly as much as I enjoyed the other ones. So I feel conflicted. But I did finish one book today, which is perfect because like honestly, the way things are going right now, if I finish one book, that's better than nothing. Let's remember that I'm also dealing with this this week and a child who won't sleep. So, one second, I need to pay attention so I don't cut my fingers off. There we go. So anyway, on top of the ceiling, pun not intended, uh, I also found that we have a fruit fly infestation all of a sudden. So that's cool. I have fly traps all over the house, fruit fly traps. And they are full already and I don't know how this happened. Enough about that, but let's finish the book update. <sighs> what did I leave off on? So I finished in an absent dream. I am just starting chapter 5 of The Secret Garden. Chapter 5 of like 27, I think. But they're short chapters. Um, and then... What was the other one I started? Right, is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon? That one is still ongoing. Obviously, I haven't started it again. I contemplated going outside and sitting on the front porch and reading when Richard got home. But then also, I was really tired and cranky. So instead, instead I finished subtitling my video and then had a bath. Yes, Nelly, I'm going to give you the peanut butter. And Arwen. I can just hear them both licking their lips behind me. So let's give the dog some peanut butter. You won't take it from the knife. She doesn't trust me. Okay, you're gonna have to. No, I'll put it in Nelly's food dish. Okay. Some for Nelly. And some for Arwen. There you go. Yum, yum, yum. Apples and peanut butter. Bedtime snack. And a bunch of iced water. Other than that, this ends day one. I succeeded. Um, let's see if I stay up with that for the rest of the week. Because now, I have exhausted my shortest slash easiest read 
now I have a nonfiction and a long adult thriller mystery. Crying fiction? I'm too tired. I'm gonna go to bed and hope that I don't wake up with a massive pimple that I'm sure I will because I can feel it coming and it hurts. That is everything for day one. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't fall. Don't forget all the things you've been taught, you've been told. Don't blink. Don't run. Don't turn left or turn right or look straight at the sun. My mind's gone in circles. I'm trying to fight it. Get